I spend way too much time looking at watches online, and every once in a while I come across something that's a little different. Something that's a little nerdy or a little geeky. Something for the select few that a lot of people don't know exist. So I thought it'd be fun to try a new segment, where I go over some of these watches that I've found. And I should point out that I do think there's a difference between nerdy and geeky, and a watch could potentially be both. Geeky is more when you geek out over something, where a watch would visually represent something you love or something you obsess over. Where nerdy is more all about the functionality, where it's so overloaded with technology or data that most people would never actually use it on a regular basis, although it's still cool nonetheless. And for today's list, I do need to point out that I don't actually own any of these or have any experience with them. I just think it's cool to talk about and to know that they exist. Or in the case of number five, that they still exist. And that is a Casio databank. When I was a kid, most of the other kids I knew were rocking a swatch. But I was rocking a Casio databank. And these days, most people don't really have much use for the functionality of a Casio databank which is primarily a calculator or to store phone numbers. Your phone pretty much does all of that. So you really have to love the idea of a Casio databank to really want to wear one of these, or just obsess with the nostalgia that it represents. Although if you really want, you could go the extra mile and get the watch I really wanted as a kid, which is this one with an IR remote control. Although in retrospect, it's probably a good thing I didn't have it in school. Number four on the list is a watch for computer scientists or computer nerds in general who really just want to show off some geek cred, or at the very least confuse the hell out of anyone else looking, which to be honest is sometimes the same thing. And it's this binary watch I just happened to run across on Amazon. Even if you understand how binary works, I think there is going to be a bit of a learning curve here. Although at 25 bucks, it might be worth it just to see what kind of looks you get. Number three on the list is a watch for astronomy lovers, and it's from a company called OVD. And I ran across this watch when I discovered their Kickstarter last year. But I want to show off one of their older watches first, which is called the Moonwalker. Basically, it's a 3D model of the moon with some rather curved hands that go around it, topped off with a large domed sapphire. Coolest thing here is that that moon is full of loom, so that surface glows nicely. I'm not sure if I'd actually own one, but I think it's really cool that they actually made it. And they took what they learned from this watch and then took it up a notch for their watch from last year, which is their Mars Mission watch. So it's a similar idea, although here there's only one curved hand for minutes and a rotating disc for hours. But there are some extra design features as well, like the crown resembling a lander concept, or the side of the case resembling a Mars rover concept and even the back of the watch resembles a solar array. And to top it off, it's not really Mars unless it glows red. I'll be honest, I was extremely tempted here, but ultimately I thought the 19mm height was a little too big. So number two on the list is a G-Shock, but it's not just any G-Shock, but the GPR B1000, which makes this list just from all the technology that's thrown in it. And if you ever really want to know more about it, Go check out WatchUp69's channel. He's got multiple videos on it, tutorials, and adventures. Now, G-Shocks are known for being tough, and there are plenty of G-Shocks out there with sensors for altitude, barometric pressure, or temperature, plus compass. And there are a lot of G-Shocks now that set themselves through picking up the atomic time radio signal. And there are some that even have Bluetooth connectivity these days. But this one does all of that plus GPS. But it's not just GPS to set the time, but to actively track and navigate you while you're on adventures in the middle of nowhere. While there are plenty of other watches that have similar functionality, especially by Garmin, this is the only one I know of that does all of that while still being solar powered. Or as Casio states, solar assisted, as it doesn't generate enough power to continuously run the GPS. But on a full battery, it can run the GPS for 33 hours, and then slowly recharge through solar power. Which makes this watch ideal for someone who wants to go on an extended camping or backpacking trip in the middle of nowhere. Although I think it goes without saying that all this technology does come with a price tag. 
Last but not least, we have one of the most unique watches I've ever run across. And it was actually suggested a couple of weeks ago in a comment. It's from a company called Yes Watch. And it's really hard to describe what exactly this watch is and what exactly it can do. The short version is that it's a solar powered Anti Digi 24 hour one handed watch with both tritium and a backlit LCD. When I was planning this video, I was going to talk about their Equilibrium watch, which is their current one, but I found out that they're almost completely sold out of it and they just launched a Kickstarter for their version 7, which I think they're calling their World Watch. The primary focus of their watches is that they're pre-programmed with a ton of astrological data for 650 cities worldwide. And all on the dial, you visually have representations to tell you when the sun rises as well as the sunset, plus twilight hours, lunar phases, moonrise, moonset, solar noon, true midnight, as well as it has the ability to auto adjust itself for daylight savings time, as well as a compass. Plus, I'm sure there's some I'm forgetting. I think it goes without saying that this is a very unique timepiece on the market. And as a science geek, I'm actually pretty tempted by it. But I bought way too many watches this month, so maybe in the future. Anyway, thanks for joining me as I geek out over a few of these. And for those of you that have stuck around, here's some previews of some reviews I'm working on. My next video should be on the Orient Neo 70s chronograph. And after that, another Seiko 5 with a fantastic blue dial. Plus, sometime soon I'll get to that Naxxon with the Miyota 9015 as well as my new Airman, which I have been showing off on Instagram. Now, if you know of any obscure, nerdy, or geeky watches, let me know in a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, you guys know what to do. Thanks for joining me.